let's turn, I guess, to affordability. Is there a pathway of some kind that you see where um, homes become more affordable again? Yeah. So affordability is the the number one thing I look at when I when I kind of figure out what's what's going on in the housing market. It saved me in the past. It told me to sell. It's also told me when to buy. Uh, but let's not let's. I don't think a lot of people realize affordability is a combination of three different variables, and they all can act differently. What are those three variables? Well, most of the people, if you're on YouTube, talk about price. I get it, right? Everybody wants a crash. Everybody wants 40% off. Everybody wants lower prices. But again, that's only one of many variables. There's also interest rate. And this is what a lot of YouTube crash bros missed, right? How many people did you hear talk about housing crash when mortgage rates were under 3%? And going back to affordability, I, I, I have this 50 year, 53 year spreadsheet now on my website, onerentalatatime.com that people can go get for free. That goes all the way back to 1970. And people don't want to hear this because they listen to Crash Bros. And you got to remember, Crash Bros are entertainers trying to get paid. But 2020 and 2021 were the second and third best year ever to buy a home based on affordability. And yet these morons who live in their mom's basement were saying, don't buy a home. They were the second and third best year in 53 years to buy a home. It's just mathematically correct. Now, fast forward to today when your rates are 7%, it's the second worst year. I get it. It's the second worst year. There is a year that's worse, so don't get it. You know, 1981 was worse, but that's that's not meant to make you feel better. It's horrible out there. But again, right? So price, interest rate, and then wages. Wages are the things the novices aren't feeling. I believe what we are going through is a structural change in the economy where labor starts to get theirs. I think if you look at and you understand the economy, the CEOs for 30 years have been getting a disproportionate amount of the growth. That's over. We are going to see unions. We're going to see wa- wa- wages at the, you know, labor, just generally speaking, go up. Uh, historically, the last three or four years, real wages have been negative, where nominal wages have been up. That's just basically inflation minus uh, the uh, wage increase. So real was negative. I think that changes in a big way. I think the next three or four years, we have real wage growth. And we're talking real wage growth of two, three, four percent. You do that for a couple of years, uh, this stuff gets more affordable. So generally speaking, my call for prices is flat. Now, every market is different. You go do yours, right? But generally speaking, nationally, flat. Rates back up. Rates go down, right? Just naturally speaking, rates go from seven to six, more affordable. And then you get three, four years of wage growth things get affordable. So a lot of people don't want to hear this, but I think affordability is cured by slightly lower rates, prices not going up and wages increasing. It's slow. I know it would be so sexy to tell you a 20% crash was coming. I just don't see it. I just don't see how we get there. So I don't want to mislead people. 